Hey everyone, Gaming Noodle here. Let's uh, continue on with Velvet Story, shall we? Let's continue our lesson of the nation's history. A nightmare befell the land. And soon afterward, the Aesir and the Vanir began a war over the Cauldron. The Aesir were exhausted from the war with our nation, and the Vanir defeated them. The Aesir withdrew, but after finding the Ring of Tichrel that the fairies used to control the Cauldron, both countries began a long war to control this area. Hmm? What's wrong? <sighs> a great storm is... A great storm has raged against our land ever since the disaster. It seems that there's a tremendous amount of magical energy around the cauldron. She went to the netherworld with that sorcerer? This is so dangerous. Oh, I'm so nervous. Ah, he may still be nearby. She's been looking gloomy ever since she returned. If I may ask, why are you so frightened? My grandfather, King Valentine has escaped the netherworld. The deceased king? But how? My grandfather was interested in the cauldron. If that is true, it must surely refer to the great cauldron that appears in the prophecies. Is this the beginning of the end of the world? I do not know. It is impossible to speculate the motives of a king who has escaped the netherworld. You have such great wisdom. Do you know of any way to prevent this destruction, Father? Hmm. A single ring controls the cauldron. The ring that my grandfather was wearing? Indeed, the ring of Titrell. If that ring is used to stop the cauldron, no one can restart it, not even a king. Where is this ring now? It's in the Fairy Kingdom, where the cauldron has been taken. I shall sneak in and recover the ring. What are you saying? Velvet! I would rather fight against death than wait for my cursed destiny to take me. I know a man who can magically send himself there. If I asked him... If you are discovered, all Puka will be labeled as criminals. Please, do not tell anyone of this. I don't want anyone else involved. Moving in the shadows will not hide you from the fairies for long. That is when this change shall protect me. Okay, Ringford Forest. Looks like we are going to be going to the Kingdom of the Fairies because we need to uh, quote-unquote reclaim <laughs> the Ring of Titrell. This magical ring that is at the center of all of this craziness about Armageddon and all this stuff. It's always a ring, isn't it? It's always some magical ring. I guess we can kind of uh, give credit to the Lord of the Rings books for that. Although, um, maybe there was mm, books before that, I'm sure, that had magical rings in them, but I guess... Lord of the Rings kind of made it a lot more prominent, right? I could just be wrong though, and talking out my ass, so don't quote me on anything. Well, we've got a lot of uh, bad guys in this level, but yeah, it should really be no problem for you, especially at this stage of the game. Uh, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Now, as you can see, I am leveling up pretty... Like, I, I'm, I'm doing it in chunks, and I'm doing it off-screen, of course, because, like, I always do that. But, um, you want to make sure that you do. Uh, unless you're really, really good at the game, it's going to get pretty tough. 
especially like the you know the main the last boss for this chapter for Velvet's chapter it can be pretty tough so just make sure that you're well prepared now I'm gonna be actually leveling up a uh, heck of a lot because I really enjoy playing Velvet's chapter and I enjoy playing as Velvet so I'm probably gonna do a lot of grinding so my levels my cipher levels will be high my HP will be very high uh, so what have we got here area map so that's fine yeah these onions are pretty good to uh, you know I can't actually remember if I've said this before but those onions are great for cooking if you like try and get as many of those onions as possible what I do is when I go to the Puka village I just uh, what's it called I forgot the name but it's basically you need the ingredients you need are onions and shrimp and like one coin I think aerial coin or something so one of each you use those to make some food and you get uh, a big XP boost you make enough of, you make enough of those sorry and um, yeah, your HP levels will go through the roof pretty quickly. That's what I usually do. So, if you do find, you know, any kind of things, you know, don't pass them up. It's always good to, you know, pick up on all the vegetables that pop out of the ground and stuff. They can all be used for something useful. That boss was pretty, well, sub-boss was pretty damn easy. Uh, just, uh... You shouldn't have any trouble, but just in case you do, obviously that's um, that's like a hint for you to just kind of maybe stay back a while and keep doing the levels over and over again until you get to a high enough level. What's this? New text. Hmm. More food. Let's see. Greenford Palace. Time to steal some rings. Freeze! How dare you intrude in the palace while my mother is away in battle? Oh no! Princess Mercedes! What? You... Grandfather, did something happen? A thief defeated the knights and snuck into the palace. This woman is that thief. I can see that. You have something of ours. Return my mother's ring immediately. What was that? Is that the ring to Trell? This ring is at the center of this debacle. It belongs to Valentine. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this story. But you are mistaken. The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen. By the surviving Prince of Valentine. <gasps> prince? It can't be Ingwe. Even if that's the case, I cannot return the ring. You are not going anywhere! Guards! Guards! <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Guards, guards. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but that is, um, that's a Terry Pratchett book. Discworld. If you haven't read those books, you should read them. They're pretty fun. Now, this fight, you know, you've done this before. So yeah, just make sure that you... Make sure that you kill those annoying fairies that heal up. That's... If you forgot from your, you know, you, it's been a long time. But just always remember, those fairies that heal, kill them, okay? Because they're so annoying. They're so annoying. But yeah, don't worry, just just kill those quick. And uh, I actually, I wow, I don't actually have any more foes on stuff. See, look, I I am at zero percent. I'm at zero for my foes on. So I really need to level up this character. 
All right, just uh, you, you can see the rest of the fight. Uh, enjoy it. Enjoy the story, and I'll see you in the next episode. ourselves be seen. Hurry, we have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come search for it. Father, is the king really trying to create another disaster? I know not the king's mind. But if the king wishes to use the cauldron for atrocity once again, the only one able to stop him is the one who knew him in life. It will be up to Princess Velvet. But I cannot bear to see the princess in such danger. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain so you could act like a thief. Ingwe. Have you any idea how dangerous that ring is? Let me hold on to it, Velvet. Give me the ring. How do you know about this? We are twins. There is nothing you can hide from me. You said that Scaldi has friends in the Fairy Kingdom, did you not? If that chain makes you act so irrationally, shall I take it away? Don't glare at me like that. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry if I've upset you. Please, just leave me alone. I will eventually get that ring. But first... How can I stop the prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Tichrell? 